Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anil and in this Laravel video tutorial, we will learn about the HTTP request methods. Maybe you heard about the two HTTP request methods, which is get and post. But there is some other methods also, which is very important when you are working with the Laravel and especially when you are working with the Laravel APIs. For example, put, patch, delete, head, etc. Right. So we will learn uh, these all methods with example. So these are the points of video. First of all, we will see what is the HTTP request. Then uh, we will see the method name for the HTTP request. We will make a HTML form so that we can just check out the example of every method and we will uh, create the route method also and submit the data to the controller. And at the last, I will ask you an interview question also. Right. So now let's get started with the first question. What is the HTTP request? When you are using the website, then you cannot work without the HTTP request. When you are fetching data from a website, that means you are using the get method. When you are just signing up or submitting some data as a form, as uh, in a format of form, then you are using the post method, right? So let's say I just want to show an example when Let's open to the network here and uh, just make it a little bit up and just refresh it. Now, when you just make a refresh, then then you can see that there is a lots of file which are uh, just uh, come to the network. And here you can see that the request method is get by default, right? That means when you are just fetching the data, then we are using the get method. But when we are just posting the data or saving some data to the database or to the server, then we use the post method, right? But there is some other method also. We will talk about them also, right? So for example, post method, put method, put method is used when you just want to update something. Delete method, when you just want to delete some data. Patch method, patch as and put are very similar. Patch methods are used. Uh, with a specific field, let's say we have a 10 field, but we want to update only two or three field, then we use the patch methods, right? And the head method is just looking out for the headers and options are just tell that our server is working or not, right? So these all things, the all methods are uh, very useful in the case of uh, uh, Laravel forms as well as the Laravel API. And in this video, we will check out all these things with the Laravel form. Yes, in the upcoming video, we will make an AVI in the all of the cases also. So now let's get started. What we need to do to make of uh, these kind of requests to check that. So we need two things. One is controller and another one is the uh, view uh, so that we can just make a HTML form. So let's create a view first of all. Uh, let's say my view name is blade, uh, sorry, user dot blade.php and let's uh, make some html text and all like uh, user login you can just remove it uh, yes i will make a form also but just after uh, making the route and all and now let's jump for the web.php file to make a route here and just simply write here route colon colon view and uh, we can just uh, put the route name which is let's say login for a moment right and uh, file that we want to load and this is the view file because we defined a view method here which is user we just made here right user now let's try to access this file through the web page and just simply write here user and uh, all right oh, oh sorry my bad we have to just use here login because we just uh, define the url is login on a user's view right so that's working fine so now let's try to make a form here so just make a small form and in this form we can use at least two fields so let's define uh, input type text name can be like uh, user or whatever you want placeholder like uh, enter name 
and uh, we can also use uh, some br tag so that we can just maintain some space line space actually and at the last let's tick a button and just make a text login and uh, this button type can be submit right now you find that there is a small form also that's okay all right so where we will submit this form so we need a controller so just write here uh, php artisan make controller and controller name let's say my controller name is user controller hit the enter this is created and where this is created in the app http controllers and user controller so let's make a route for it so just put here use app HTTP then controllers and uh, then use the user controller right and now let's make a route for it and just put here route and method name what is that method name I have just put here because I'm not going to put here get and post I will tell you why just wait a, wait for a moment and let's put the URL and in the second parameter just put here user controller which is related to this right use uh, colon colon class and in the second parameter we need to put here the method that we want to call so we did not define the method yet so let's make a method I'm going to put the my method name is uh, uh, test request right and when we are just getting the data from the form then we need to use here this request method and any variable like dollar r e q right and let's return here something like uh, hello from controller right this is for a moment and uh, after that uh, let's just just put this method here which is test method and let's make it uh, put it directly in the second parameter and this should be an uh, string actually so just make it string and at the last we need to add here semicolon everything is fine but why I put here method name why did not did not put here get because if I am just going to put here get then it will accept the get method from here and we will define a get method here like get right and if I'm just getting sending this data the post from here like post data then we need to make this uh, method type post like this right so first of all let's try with the get then uh, we will make it post also right get and now we need an action action means on which URL we want to hit this so we want to hit on the this URLs so uh, users so let's simply put it here right so now let's try to just send this data let's try to log in and now you can see that we get the data on a hello controller we did not pass some pass some data that's why we get the blanket so let's push, put some data here like anil and password like one two three four five and just write login log in here when we are using the get method then we will send the data like here like this right but this is not a safe method that's why when we just want to pass the data with the help of uh, uh, form then we always use the uh, post method so once again i just want to tell, uh, show that what method is actually we are able to see in the network so let's try to see here and here you can see that we are just able to we are just using the get method here right so now let's try with the post method like yeah one more thing uh, we did not get the data in the in the controller yet so just simply return dollar request and just just simply use here uh, input method right and let's try it with the uh, you can see that the uh, get method first of all now you can see that we get the user data right 
uh, one more thing why we are actually getting the one field only because we need to just make it a password right and the text is also be password again let's make it correct now all right so just refresh it name is like anil and password is like one two three and now we are able to send the both field right so this is fine now let's uh, try to use the post method here and with the post method we need a uh, one more thing we need a csrf token token right you just need to write here like this this is uh, used for the security purpose and how it's actually work with the security purpose i already made a video on it you can watch from the previous videos right so now this is the guest met get method and la now let's make it post when this method is post and you want to try to hit the get method then it will give a error what kind of error so let's check it first of all now you can see that the post method is not support for this route supported method get here right so because this is a supported method and we are trying to send the post from here so if we just want to send the post then we just need to make it a post like here and now let's go back try to submit data like uh, username and password and now you can see that the token user and password is sent from here similar thing we can also use with the put right so why we use the put method as i told you get met get method is used for uh, getting content post method is using for uh, save the data put method is used for update the data right so but yes we are uh, now actually not performing the save data and put data and update data in the uh, database but yes you can uh, uh, just do it with the way because now we are just understanding the methods in the upcoming video we will make, create an api with everything and we will just connect with the database also right so now our put method is ready but put met put method have the oven problem we cannot put use directly put method like here if i'm just going to try to hit it then it will set that you are st still sending the post request right so now let's try one two three and some name like anil now it will tell that the get method is not supported yet right because supported method is put so why this is again asking for the get method because for that if you are using the uh, method here post put here then it will not going to support we need to use here double curly braces method underscore field and we can simply use here put right and here we need to use post now it will support it right just go back here refresh it name password something submit it now you can see that we are able to get the method post put here right similarly if you want to send the delete then uh, you can use here delete method but you need to change the route here from here from the route file also like this now let's get back here try to refresh and why we use the delete method for deleting the records right now you can see that we are able to get use the get method so this that's all all right so now uh, i have a question uh, which is uh, you can see that uh, we just try with the get post put delete and we can just use everything what is the difference between put and patch right okay i will just repeat the all of them you can just uh, find about the patch get is used for uh, getting the data post is used for save the data put is used for uh, update the data delete is used for delete the data head for use for the extra parameters like header and all optional parameter parameter uh, will check that our server is working fine or not right so you need to just comment it out and check out about the uh, put 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 method so bye for now and please don't forget to subscribe my channel bye bye take care